Two more call cows loaded up. Off to the sale barn. My tracker is missing a spare. This is what holds the spare onto the back like a Jeep. And as you can see, it has not been used in a while. It's been off. It's all rusted. So what I'm gonna do is paint this with a little Rust-Oleum uh, and then stick it back on the tracker. And hopefully I can find a spare somewhere and have one just in case. Well guys, it has been a while since I've showed you the rental place and that's because, like I said, um, a while back when I got this rental farm, the owners do still live on the property. So whenever the cows are close to their house, I'm not, not gonna be filming or doing any of that. So anyway, we've got the group in the last pasture on the rental farm and they will have made a full rotation around the farm. So uh, you can see the Holstein Angus cross calves here. And this pasture here has not really been a pasture. It was used for crops a couple years ago, and then it's just been in weeds ever since. So trying to get this reclaimed and get some grass growing again. Um, but the cows, they actually really like some of these weeds. But since it's been a while since I've showed you this group of cows, all these call cows that I bought, um, a lot has changed. So we're pretty much almost calved out here. The cow that had the breech calf that I stuck a new calf on her, that calf died from scours. Um, I had one old cow, she calved, calf made it two or three days. I don't know if she didn't have a colostrum or what, but calf ended up dying. Then I had a Charlay heifer calf. She had a really big calf, somehow I didn't have to help her. I did come back 30 minutes after she had had it and she had not pulled the sack off of him yet, so he's lucky he even lived a day. But then, two or three days later, that one died of scours. So I've had scours run through this whole group, um, the baby calves, not the older calves. There's 15 or so calves out, baby calves out here now. Um, I, like I said, I've lost a couple, uh, just due to mostly due to scours. Um, and then of course the two that had trouble calving, those calves didn't make it. A lot of the older calves, they had the scours and they were over it in two or three days. So. I'm hoping that's the case with some of these younger calves, but you never know. But here's a good example of the Holstein Angus cross calves. One of the bigger ones, he's probably up to 480 pounds or so. Um, hasn't had any grain since he's been out here. So they're probably putting on a pound and a half a day. Getting moved almost every day. So really happy with their progress. They're starting to show a little bit of pink eye, but I think they'll be over it here in a week. In terms of selling the older calves, probably will end up selling them this month, and that's because I'm hoping to buy some fall calving cows to put out here as well, um, and that'll pretty much make me out of room if I keep these calves out here. Plus, calves are high right now, so I might as well get rid of them um, while they're still a decent price. Here's one of the Charlay heifers that she had the calf, the calf died a couple days later. Um, she had a really nice smoky calf. Like I said, it was too big for her, but she did somehow have it on her own. Um, I'm probably gonna keep her for the next two, three months, let her fatten up some, and then sell her as a two-year-old. Here's a heifer I'm watching close. She's starting to show, and uh, her udder's grown quite a bit in the last two days. So she's getting close. Man, but these other baby calves, they're hiding somewhere, because they're not with this group. And then another bad thing that's happened out here I had one heifer, she had a calf, and I thought the calf was okay, but I quickly realized the calf was born blind. So that one's been a struggle in the last month, getting it to follow its mother when we're moving pastures. But it's to the point now where it is learning to follow. It keeps its nose right on its mother's side and follows her pretty much everywhere. But so far the calves that have been born, I've been pretty pleased with. Had quite a few black calves. A couple really nice big black calves. Of course, that's one of the older ones you've seen, the baldy there. Um, and then the red heifer there, red Hereford heifer. That's one of the new ones you haven't seen. That's her mother there. There's one of the new ones born yesterday. That's her mother there. This big old Charlay cow 
finally had her calf and she had a giant, this giant cream heifer there. Another black one there, don't know what you've seen. This red cow, she calved. This is probably my favorite cow in the group. And she had a really nice heifer calf here. So, really pleased with how that one turned out. Another black one up there. And then you've seen this red beef master cow. Her beef master calf is doing phenomenal. Looking great. Just a great looking overall calf. And then on to what this video was titled. Uh, yes, I did run over a baby calf. That's another bad thing that's happened. Um, I was getting the next paddock ready to move the cows into. The cows had not been in that field before. So I was just driving the truck and uh, not really thinking much of it, driving to set the new waterer up. Had my arm out the window and all of a sudden I heard a calf scream and before I knew it, he was already under my tire. So it was a newborn, he was curled up sleeping. Um, I was in a three quarter ton truck. I ran directly over his ribs. Anyway, of course I slammed, slammed on the brakes, jumped out of the truck, pulled the calf out. I thought he was gonna be instantly dead. Um, but he laid there for 30 minutes while I moved the cows. I came back another 30 minutes, he was still alive. He was laying there like he was dead, he was flopped over. But he's still alive. And then came out that evening, he was up and nursing, following his mother around. So it was an absolute miracle. That calf shouldn't have made it. And what I think happened was the grass was super tall and it was also pretty muddy. So I think it kind of just smashed him down and somehow I just glided over him. I know his ribs were really tender because every time I touch him, he kind of let out a noise. But it's been two weeks since that and I will show you him now. He, uh, he's one of the bigger calves out here. He's just growing like a weed, acts like nothing ever happened. He walked a little strange the next couple days, but he got over it quick. So there he is, ran, ran him over right there. And I'll see if I can get him to walk here. So anyway, that's the story on the calf that I ran over. I have never run over a calf before, so I was sick to my stomach for the next, well, for that whole afternoon and evening till I found out he was maybe actually gonna make it. But I thought I killed him instantly. So I did learn my lesson. I gotta pay attention even if I'm driving through a field that the cows haven't been in. Anyway, now we're getting to the calves that I haven't showed you yet. Some more, some more black ones. There is the, really hairy one out of the Beefmaster cow. And of course we got the Longhorn calves. And then we've got the single Charlet bull calf here. There is the blind heifer. She can hear really well, but she cannot see worth a lick. So she gets around somehow. Um, I'm hoping she starts learning a little better when we move cows, but we'll see. So anyway guys, that's a new herd coming along, not without not without some trouble, but hopefully things hopefully things start improving and calves get over scours and we finish up calving here soon out here. But bulls will be coming out soon once we finish up calving and hopefully some of these calves will stay in the herd if they get bred. 